Wow, a change of scenery once again. <laughs> oh, I love just the comfortability and familiarity of these rooms. That's right, Chirps. Like your favorite location, a padded room in an asylum. Hey, don't talk about my house like that. Does it hurt, Namine? Watching your two childhood friends fight, all because of you. You have my sympathies from the heart. But don't waste your time. We nobodies can never hope to be somebodies. I don't get it. Riku and I, we both want the same thing. Both of us want to help Namine out. How come we're fighting each other? I mean, Riku and I have argued about stuff in the past, but... Could be because you care what happens to each other. Hmm. I really thought so too. But... Maybe Riku doesn't. You can't give up your friends. Time together. Shara, Riku, and... And... What's her name? Hmm. It seems our memories are fading mighty fast. Sora, we gotta hurry. I bet Riku will come around if you just talk to him. You're right. We three were never apart. Me and Riku and Namine. Where are we going this time? <gasps> Neverland! So confused. I love that guy. He flies around. He does whatever he wants to. Remember yeah. piracy? It's a big deal these days. What the? Oh my god! It's a bee, kill it. <laughs> we got really good at that. Oh, okay. Well, you just learn glides out of nowhere. It's it's not that useful in this game because you don't really have a lot of unique obstacles that Think you have to glide neutral over. neutral thoughts and you can glide. Yeah, yeah <laughs> what platforming do you have to do in this? Uh, maybe I really have to get on a box or some shit? Who knows? <laughs> oh man, this is it gonna be- oh my god. Oh, this is... Well, it's as advertised. <laughs> yep. Uh, welcome to Bottom of the Darkness. This is a room which is an invisible maze where only Shadow Harpless spawn. Okay. Oh, but and it shows you the door. That's good. Yeah, it kind of blows to navigate in, but, like, it's not that much of a hassle because, like, Shadow Harpless always kind of just blow. Mm-hmm. Does it stay like this, or once you get through the room, it changes? Uh, just once you get to the room. It's just a room type of its own. Okay. I, what I meant is, if you go back into the room, is it still bottomless darkness? 
Oh yeah, okay, definitely. All right. Uh, so one thing we started kind of doing here, um, I've started kind of started skipping around a lot in the actual worlds because yeah, after a while, there's nothing really to commentate over much. It's just kind of boxes with a different graphical layout. So which card will he plug in this door? <laughs> I mean, it is nice to see the like first one room because that'll be the main aesthetic. Yes, and we have, like, been shown most of the types of rooms, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, there aren't really any different ones. <laughs> you broke the fourth wall! Oh, the classic Sora. It's like my favorite with comic Wait control. Wait a minute, this leave. castle only has one room. From the heavens ascended, Peter Pan. A dickhead shout. Watch out, Sora, he's gonna shank you. <laughs> he's gonna steal your cigarettes? <laughs> Just throw your wallet at him and run. Oh no, run into the other cube. Because that makes sense. Classic pirate trick. Thank god we avoided another mugging. <sighs> well, on to the <laughs> next Disney franchise <laughs> to <laughs> mug us. He's in denial. Just laying low in this prison cell till I can spring out. Oh, I'm just gonna hang on the gallows tomorrow because it's gonna be a cool prank. I'm not trapped, I'm lost. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> we that all what? just scream and shit. We'll get, to, we'll get someone to show up. Uh, just throw fireworks at the pirates, that will scare him. <laughs> pirates are like dogs, any loud noise will just frighten and distract them. Also, they love bones. Oh, they do. Pirate ship. Oh wow, that really was fast. That's the next cutscene door, I think. That's right. Uh, pirate ship. Also, some hot new enemies upcoming in a moment. Oh boy, are you gonna show off the Peter Pan card too? Oh, you know it, baby. Oh, thank goodness. That's right. That's why I'm the LP here and you're the commentator. Right. Oh, pirates! Whoa. Hey, pirates. Well, yeah, so they generally behave the same as almost every sword enemy. But they're pirates! And they also Peter got, Pan. you know, a regular flying enemy. However, Peter Pan, he, uh, <laughs> he just does this. Shanks him. <laughs> sad. It is really sad. <laughs> I don't know, it killed two people. That's more than a lot of your friends have done. That is true. It's still sad. Sure. He's just like, he's kind of poking him. This has given up on life. Is that just a time thing? Like, he only lasts for a certain amount of time? Um... I don't think it's a time thing. I think it's mostly, like, how many times he's done it. Okay. Also, what do the blue numbers mean? The blue numbers in general means that we are in a room where... Uh, we have put in a green card where certain cards are more effective. Oh, and okay. that meaning, like, we'll have, like, plus two to all of our cards of a certain type. So that just means they've been effective. Okay. Yeah, like this uh, room, for example, Sorcerer's Awakening, means all magic cards are like that. Okay, cool. Oh shoot, you can't do math on this one. Don't worry, I have about 1200 treasure chests just hiding without it in my <laughs> pants. <laughs> Just 
just standing there with the door open? I couldn't find my way out. I got lost too. <laughs> Ooh, dumb well, idiot woman. Originally, I was gonna go out the door, but I saw a hammock there, and I was kind of tired. <laughs> what the? F what you want to age? Gross. Becoming a drama now. <laughs> you can't go back to London not after everything I've done for you. So pissed Besides, off. Besides, why would you want to go to a city with something as dirty as the Thames? Jeez. <laughs> Such an asshole in this one. He's an asshole in every one MC. Oh, but but he's this like one especially an asshole. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we just wing it? <laughs> I'm sure pirates won't mind. Let's just traverse some more rooms until we find another big door. It's time to solve a problem in Trig Axe once again. I don't. Good. I don't even know how we'd solve it. We didn't get anywhere in the first two. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. No friendship help this time. No one has that ever done anything. I feel this cutscene has a lot less emotional gravitas without uh, the old drunken Captain Hook voice. <laughs> yeah. It really makes his character. Yeah, he, uh, he just feels like a <clears throat> cardboard cutout of Hook at this point. Mm -hmm. And where's Shmi? Yeah, where is his lovable... Psychic? Old white guy. <laughs> you know, customary of any pirate but, crew. Right, oh, oh wow. God. Now I... See, all the pieces are here, but I don't know how they're connected based <laughs> on the things we saw. Oh, maybe I should have added in more cubes. Maybe then <laughs> we would have found out how this all happened. <laughs> maybe. Those cubes are a very important part of the lore. <laughs> yeah, the passage of time would have made it all clearer. <laughs> if I had more time to ruminate on it. Oh shoot, uh, it's boss time. I love some brisket. Yeah, I'll let him do it. Your pants are jackass anyways. So yeah, welcome to Captain Hook. He's probably one of the most fun boss fights in this game, actually. Oh, cool. Yay. And look at how much fun he's having in those cards. Oh, he certainly is, my friend. He is... He has a lot of emotions, like scheming. Mad! Watch out, he's got a smirking zero. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, the old smirking zero. <laughs> So yeah, um, Captain Hook is actually just a really fun boss fight precisely because he is very active while at the same time still leaving enough time in between his attacks for you to actually be able to react to his shit. He has chaos mode. Yeah, I'm noticing that he he's just rapidly switching numbers. So he also has that special ability where uh, he puts out a sort of special card and 
all his cards are random values. Another fun thing is, his slide can actually hurt him. Nice. Oh, oh yeah, I saw that. He got hit by the explosion. Yeah. yeah. And a good thing about his slide, too, is that it is actually, like, barely dodgeable. Uh, big problem with the other slides and other boss fights is that if you don't break them, it will essentially mean that you will get hit no matter what. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, that doesn't really happen as long as you pay attention. Yeah, that's cool. It's emergent. Yeah, it's... Like somebody actually showed up to game design class. <laughs> Goodness, this lasts a long that. time, though. Oh, it definitely does. He has to fix his hair every time. Look, if he's gonna kill you, he wants to look good for you. It's... <laughs> It's part of, you know, the classic, like, Cloud Brands, his beautiful hair, and his cool sword that all the ladies love. <laughs> I was hoping that would never end. <laughs> Donald! Oh, well, bye, Donald. <laughs> uh, the one big problem, though, is that this fight kind of lasts too long, and Hook only has one slide. Yeah, I noticed that it seems very, like... Oh, well, there's that one. Well, yeah, there's that one, but, like, he barely pulls it off. Like, in all my runs I've had, he has pulled it off only this time. Only this time. <laughs> and I'm actually recording. Yeah, it otherwise seems very plain, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that come on present slide is just him kind of fucking just jacking off in place of <laughs> what? presence at you. Gross. All in all, like, not that hard a boss fight, but it's probably, like, the most fun I've had in this game with a boss. There's some stuff going on. Oh, there certainly is, my friends. Hey, that didn't suck. <laughs> Thank God. Finally. Good job, Chain of Memories. And now it's over. <laughs> You're a 10 out of 10 now in my eyes. Remember game design? Fuck. Great movie. Whoa. He is trapped forever in the void. What? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you, Peter Pan. Take all the credit, why don't you? Hey, it's almost a thematic thing. Oh my god. It's like someone actually put thought into this. I mean, uh, so did Winnie the Pooh, but that's kind of it. Never forget your friends. <laughs> Sorry, you're just projecting. Stop it. This has nothing to do with anything. I'll totally remember everything, guys. Duh. I mean, listen, re I mean, Peter Pan, you'll totally remember me, right? <laughs> <laughs> The true tragedy that Peter Pan never realizes is that people just kind of figure out he's a little douche and don't <laughs> want to hang out with him again. Yeah, that's why they stop answering your calls, my bud. Are they just gonna fly back? No grand exit. Well, how is they supposed to get back? The movie they were like, gonna do. Yeah. Just forget about it, MC. The movie. Just forget about it. Oh, this isn't like Hulk. Oh. <laughs> and Hulk Pierre Pan grows up to be Robin Williams, who I think <laughs> is one of my favorite actors of all time. Why can't this be like Hulk? <laughs> hmm. What the fuck? Oh, hey, it's a movable. Uh, 
I don't get it. What? Why did that happen? What's what? going on? <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Everyone just take a moment to respite your conquest. We'll be moving on. <laughs> Guess he must have finally got tired of fighting with you. I sure hope so.